Sources and Uses of Light The sun is our main source of light. Sunlight brightens earth at daytime. The energy in the sunlight also heats up earth. Sources of Light There are two sources of light, natural and artificial. Natural light comes from the sun and stars. Artificial light comes from man-made sources. Natural Sources of Light These sources come to earth through natural means which man cannot control. The sun is a natural source of light. It is also the primary source of light. Earth gets light from the sun. The moonlight we see at night is sunlight reflected from the surface of the moon. The stars also light up the sky at night. Some stars provide a very small amount of light because they are very far from us. Other Natural Sources of Light Some living organisms naturally give off light. This is known as bioluminescence. Their light is used in different ways but mainly to attract creatures. Examples are fireflies, glow worms, and some deep sea fish that can create their own light. Other examples of natural light are glowing rocks, lava from a volcano, lightning, and a sudden flow of electricity from a thundercloud to earth. Artificial Sources of Light Artificial light comes from sources that man produces and controls. These are flashlights, electric lights, fireworks, gas lamps, gas stoves, and oil lamps. These things can produce light with the use of fuel, batteries, or electricity. The light produced by lit candles and kerosene lamps enables you to see things. Flame or fire used for important tasks is useful but it can be harmful as well. It can burn our clothes, houses, and properties if not properly handled. Be careful with fire when you need to use it. Ask the help of an adult. Uses of Light There are as many uses of light in our daily life. You see the world around you. Light helps you play and work. You can see the colors of the traffic lights to guide you when to stop, slow down, or go. You can read newspapers, books, and even email messages. You can watch television programs and movies and play video games. You can take pictures of your friends using a camera. How Light Travels Light is a form of energy that comes from the sun. Light from the sun travels to earth. How does light energy from the sun reach us? How light behaves as it strikes different materials. As light travels, it strikes different materials. When light strikes different materials, different things happen. When you look through the clear glass that covered the box, you saw the marbles very clearly. The clear glass is a transparent material. It allows all light to pass through easily. Examples of transparent materials are clear plastic, cellophane, lenses, and clear window panes. When you looked through the frosted glass that covered the second box, you did not see the marbles very clearly. Frosted glass is a translucent material. Translucent materials allow part of the light to pass through, but they break up the rays and scatter them. Examples of translucent materials are wax paper, onion paper, and capis window panes. When you looked through the aluminum foil that covered the third box, you did not see the marbles at all. Aluminum foil is an opaque material. Opaque materials do not allow light to pass through. They absorb some of the light. Examples of opaque materials are wood, 
Brick and steel. Behavior of light. Light may be reflected or absorbed as it strikes different kinds of materials. In some cases, some light rays are absorbed while others pass through easily. Light may be reflected. When you place a mirror on the floor and you flash a beam of light on the mirror at an angle, you will see a spot of light reflected on the ceiling. The mirror reflects the light coming from the flashlight. Why? The light from the flashlight passes through the clear glass of the mirror, but the covering at the back of the glass stops the light. The light cannot pass through the glass, so it bounces back. That is why it is reflected on the ceiling. At daytime, you see things around you because they reflect light to your eyes. Nature of the material where light strikes. Transparent materials allow light to pass through. One good transparent material is clear plastic. Light can pass through clear plastic easily. Translucent materials absorb some light and allow little light to pass through. Another characteristic of a translucent material is that it scatters light because its surface is rough. Another characteristic of a translucent material is that it scatters light because its surface is rough. An example of a translucent material is the frosted glass. Absorption of light. Turn on the flashlight. Cover the face of the flashlight with the cardboard. Do you see light? Why or why not? The cardboard is an opaque material. It does not reflect light. It does not allow light to pass through. Opaque materials absorb light. Thick or dark colored materials absorb light. When they absorb light, they become warm. The light coming from the sun is white. When the light is made to pass through a prism, different colors are seen. Light consists of different colors. A prism is a specially shaped glass that breaks white light into a band of different colors. These colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These seven colors form the light spectrum. One good example of the light spectrum is a rainbow. The light coming from the sun is broken into different colors as it strikes drops of water in the sky. The drops of water function as prisms. How are the different colors in a rainbow arranged? In a rainbow, red is seen on the outside of the arc and violet is on the inside of the arc. You do not always see the color spectra when you look at an object. What you see is the light that the object reflects. The light that the object reflects enables us to see that object and its color. Look at the green leaves of plants. They are green in color because they reflect only the green light from the color spectra back to your eyes and absorb all the other colors. Suppose you are wearing a red t-shirt. Why does your red t-shirt appear red to our eyes? How shadows are formed. Opaque objects do not allow light to pass through. Light that strikes opaque objects is blocked. What happens when light is blocked by an object? Observe houses and big buildings when they block sunlight. What do they form? Light cannot pass through the houses and buildings. They block the sunlight. You see shadows in the shape of houses and buildings. When light is blocked, a shadow is formed. The shade of the shadow is very dark if more light is blocked. It is lighter if only a small amount of light is able to pass through. The shadow appears larger when an object is closer to the source of light. On contrary, it appears smaller when an object is farther from the source of light. When light rays are slanted, the shadow that is formed is long. 
When light rays are on top, the shadow is short. Now observe your shadow. At what time of the day is your shadow long? At what time of the day is your shadow short? Proper and safe use of light at home. Although sunlight has many good effects on living things, you should use light safely and wisely. Use sunglasses, a wide brimmed hat, or an umbrella if you have to stay under the sun. Protect your eyes from too much light. If you are reading, use enough light. Do not use too little or too much light. It will damage your sight. Avoid looking directly at the sun or at any bright source of light. This can make you temporarily or even permanently blind. Inside the house, windows should be left open during the day to let the sunlight in. Using electric lights during the day is only a waste of energy. Using electricity also costs money while sunlight is free. Switch off any artificial light when nobody is using it. Do not put a lighted candle or an alcohol or a gas lamp near combustible objects because they can cause fire. Do not leave a lit candle or gas lamp unattended. Put it out before leaving the room.